Arson cases once considered solved and closed are getting a fresh look in Texas. Ed Graff has spent 25 years in prison for killing his two stepsons by locking them in a backyard shed and setting it on fire. In 1988, prosecutors leaned heavily on photos of the shed's remains analyzed by investigators. That evidence helped convict Graff and give him a life sentence. But by today's standards of fire science, those investigators may not have been right. Well, I, I testified in my first trial, and I would testify again, and you know, and I, all I can tell them is that you know, I didn't, I didn't do it. Graff's case is being re-examined, and so are others in which defendants were sent to prison for setting fires based on expert testimony about burn patterns or charring that is now considered suspect. Not only is it not considered acceptable now, but frankly, most of the cases that we've looked at that are really bad, it wasn't acceptable back then either. It was just bad work. It was conclusory. Graff's attorney works for the nonprofit Texas Innocence Project. The organization is now working with the state fire marshal to review evidence in fire investigations and to find cases which may have questionable convictions. And I just think it's the right thing to do that we need to review how the investigation was done based on the science. The mother of the victims appreciates the fact that fire science analysis used to convict her ex-husband may be unreliable by current standards, but she says Ed Graff is still a cold-blooded killer. That's how sociopaths work, I guess. I mean, you know, they don't have any conscience about what they do. Claire Bradburn says Graff acted suspiciously around the time of her boys' deaths. Months before, she says he took out a large life insurance policy on them and for her. We have a lot of circumstantial evidence. It just has to be put back together again. Graf has hopes for a retrial. It's, it's difficult for me to believe that they can't believe the science. You know, the science is, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty accurate now. If his case is retried, the prosecutors say they still think Graf is guilty. And so does his ex-wife. John Moan, Associated Press, Gatesville, Texas.